And today we are here with a bunch of people from different grades and they're going to talk about the agriculture classes they're in. So to start off, I guess we'll introduce myself. Hi, my name is Elio Enriquez and I'm a senior. And this is the second year of doing the podcast. And now we have a new person on that will be on on every episode and you can introduce yourself. Um, hi, I'm Alexandra Flores. I'm a sophomore. Do you want to go first or me? Introductions are hard, I'm not gonna lie. I'm Olivia Lyman and I'm a senior this year. I'm Chase Thedens and I'm also a senior. Alright, so I guess to get started, what agriculture class are you in currently? Or you could talk about next semester too. Um, I'm in biotech and egg business. And the next semester, I'm going to take vet, vet science. Yeah, vet science. Oh, by the way, we have Rocco off camera. So if you see us looking away, it's Mr. Rocco. It's just Mr. Rocco patrolling us. <laughs> I'm also taking biotech and egg business. Yeah, and so I guess you can ask the next, next question. Um, so what classes have you guys taken before, like agriculture classes? Ooh, I've taken intro to egg my freshman year. I've taken animal science, I've taken advanced animal science, and yeah, and then I'm taking the classes that I'm in this year. I have taken those and vet science. Yeah, I've taken a variety of classes, it's like so hard to remember every single one since freshman year, but yeah, after freshman year we have this thing, we take intro to ag no matter kind of what path that you go through, and then from there you can take whatever you want. From there, your only two options are kind of animal science or ag welding. Yeah, <laughs> animal science is a popular one. So, how are Rock Hill classes different from your other classes, like maybe math or English? How is it a little different? Uh, well, I've learned, I've had math from third grade to now. I've never had an agricultural class until my freshman year. Mm -hmm. So, just getting into I mean, I've I've known somewhat, but not near as much as I know now. It's mm -hmm. just a different different field of learning that I didn't know I would a enjoy and b be interested in. Mm -hmm. I think with that, it's very different. Of like, you choose your path, whereas most classes is oh, you all do the same thing. And in those egg classes, during like CDEs, you choose your CDE and you work mm -hmm. on that. So you like choose your path. Yeah, I know a lot of people ask kind of like what's going on in Rock Hill's class and it's different every day. It's, it looks a lot different than when you would see a math class going on. So yeah, I know a lot of people get curious about that. But yeah, it's, I guess it, it looks different, but you are learning a lot of different things. It really depends who you ask. Yeah, yeah that yeah. is true, in the classes that you're taking. Yeah. So, what has been the most important thing that you've learned in one of Rocco's classes? Uh, I haven't learned this much in Rock Hill classes, but being around Rock Hill and, and FFA and agriculture in general is just leadership skills. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I'm now the chapter vice president and I kind of have to be that, that that role model that I need mm -hmm. to impact the freshmen and you know maybe the eighth graders to get them to go out for FFA and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Adding to that I've been an officer for one year and even though I didn't make an officer the last two years that even if you're not an officer you can still be a leader and I think people find that difficult to understand but there are so many things I'm a leader in, like I lead different groups in the FFA. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, along with officer positions, there's committees as well, which is mm -hmm. kind of like subgroups where you can also be leaders of that. Like me and Alex are in homegrown, best committee that there is. No, <laughs> 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 <I> disagree. <laughs> yeah, so I guess our next question is, what has been the most important, oh, I'm on the wrong question. <laughs> what has been your favorite class and why? My favorite class has been egg business because I have more decision making and more mm -hmm. say in the FFA chapter than I've ever had. And I think, and I find that just like 
we're the last, we're the last people this goes through. We're the we're the final say in things, yeah. which is something I like. That is very true. I also really like um, egg business, but I also really enjoyed vet science. So we got to go to the vet clinic and like watch. Procedures. What's his name? Dr. Albert. Dr. Albert performed those procedures. They were really interesting to learn about. So. Yeah, I think advanced animal science was kind of my year. That was really fun. We got to work on experience the action as well as like learn about different animals, yeah. different things like that. Yeah. That was fun. As a sophomore, I can't really comment. I've had to ag. <laughs> that, is yeah. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Intro to ag was fun, though. You'll, you'll, you'll have more. I you'll have kidding. more experience. As <laughs> yeah, as a senior, yeah, you get like the top. You get the, you get the whole. Big decision. Yeah. Fun. Also, they're all my favorite in like a different way. That so, is yeah. true. Yeah. It's always like the group of people in the classes, too, that make it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what kind of hands-on learning ex opportunities are there available? Well, I haven't taken vet science, but I know from the talks through the grapevine, I guess, <laughs> that they've dis yeah they've, they've dissected pigs. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm, um, yep. In biotech, we were able to extract DNA from a strawberry. That was fun. And um, our freshman year, I think, freshman or sophomore year, we watched uh, Temple Grandin. Is yeah. that, what, that what her name was? It was freshman. It was freshman year. Yeah, yeah. we watched we watched her and how she uh, revolutionized revolution. That's a hard word to say. Revolutionized. Is that right? Is that a word? Am I saying that right? Revolutionized. Revolutionized. That's what it is. Revolutionized <laughs> the uh, cattle shoot process. And so then we got to make our own um, cattle oh, shooting. Yeah. How we got out of toothpicks and. A lot, a lot, and a lot of hot glue. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of stole so all of them. From <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> going to say vet science. <laughs> I mean, sophomore year, when we get to, we have all the whole mm -hmm. dairy taste testing thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We make ice cream. Yep. And then even in vet science, we got to, it was um, like this paw that we got to like put blood in. Oh. Uh, it was right. just like food coloring, but it like. <laughs> Yeah. We also did um we also did some hands on stuff with the second graders that we have oh, in yep. um uh, biotech. We uh they did a milk taste testing where they taste tested different kinds of chocolate milk, which she said, but we did it with second graders. And uh we got to make butter. Mm -hmm. That was that was a fun experience. That was last week's lesson. Mm -hmm. I think there's like a lot of field trip, op like traveling opportunities. Yeah. Yeah, I know like just like tomorrow is um, Green Hand Fire Up, so the freshmen get to go. <laughs> yeah, excited. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> well, yeah, they get to travel to Morningside and basically get real hands-on learning with other kids from... It's Morningside? Oh, I thought it was Northwestern. Yeah, it's how they change it. They change it each year. They get free t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. We yeah, also we haven't do. been able, on top of that, yes, mm -hmm. we do, do get to do a lot of traveling, but... With COVID, with COVID yeah, and stuff, because I remember our uh, animal science class, they used to be able to go up to Stenslands, and they yeah, used to yeah. get to like watch, you know, the milk, how they make their milk, how they make their cheese curds, all that stuff. But when we did it, our sophomore year, due to COVID, we weren't allowed to go up. So that was, that, yeah. that was not very fun. Yeah, so we've been set back. We've been set back so a little hot. bit, but we've still had some, yeah. some good field trips. And um, I mean, yeah, just couple months ago we went to the Clay County Fair mm -hmm. oh, and, um, and all those egg business yeah so like state conventions I've never got the I've never got the opportunity to go to nationals but I've heard it's it's we year. tried goat <laughs> yeah. cheese yeah it was good yeah so I've traveled the most like in my entire high school with FFA so yeah. I got to see in so many different schools in our district and other stuff like that that's a, that's a big thing and in our freshman year, didn't we go up to the Ellsworth Meat Locker? Oh, yeah, yeah we did. That yeah, did we got to do that. that. I don't know. Oh, no. Do they? Mm -hmm. They don't? They didn't go my freshman year. It changes a lot each it, year. They, yeah. they add and they take away some things. Because and it also just depends on the size of the class. Different opportunities. Yeah, different, yeah, yeah. different opportunities. The size of the class. I mean, our freshman class. We had like we had 11 people. 11 people, which I mean, it was, easy to it was probably the 
it was a decent size, but now this incoming freshman, like the freshman <laughs> class that we have, that has 20-something people, that'd be kind of hard to take all of them up in a school van and or a bus and then mm -hmm. make sure they stay together. Just keep getting rowdier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we love them. As the classes get bigger, it's, it's a lot more variety of people and just things like that. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see. Last question. What things are you working on currently in, in the classes? Fruit sales. Yeah. That is <laughs> the one? number one thing on every FFA member's plate right now is the Central Lion fruit sales. It is the worst, <laughs> and I mean this, the worst time of the year. Just ask Unless Rock Hill. You're Unless, Unless you're buying. <laughs> Unless Mr. Rocco does something, then it's fun. Yes, unless you're unless you're Wait. unless you're buying them, then it is really good Working products. Working for the common goal of yeah. reaching Mr. Rocco's parents. This, yeah. Anyone watching this, go buy some fruit sales. Yeah. The Please. FFA chapter has a goal of eighty thousand total gross sales. If we get it, Josh Rockhill <laughs> bleach is yeah, come. bleaches We're his hair. About you. We need every, this is, a, this is a all hands on deck here. We need everyone to buy fruit sales so we can get a sales gross of $80,000 and have Rock Hill bleach his hair. That's going to take a while to grow out again. Yeah. I think it'll look good. So, <laughs> he just gave us the thumbs up. So. so what's going on, I guess, besides ag business? In biotech, uh, we will be learning about pest control and the different chemicals we use for that. Yeah. And anything in the soft? What are you learning in the yeah, I'm not oh, animal in the soft science world. room? Well, we always have our SAE Fridays. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and <laughs> really? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have sales. fruit sales. SAEs, and then us. Say sophomore class is doing amazing with fruit sales. <laughs> we have our SAEs that we're working on, uh, CDEs, CDEs oh and then us, us seniors have our Iowa degrees that we're also working on. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot going on like during this time of year. Yeah, this time of year is the, the harvest. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We just did our operation, yeah. Feed the Farmers. Did that last Thursday. And then our people go up to nationals. Oh, yeah. So we're yeah. kind of trying to, like, get stuff. Is that next week? That's the 20th. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. We leave on the 25th. So, so that's next, next week. week. Really? Oh, yeah, it is next week. Yeah. I have to go day by day at this point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we come into class and we kind of, we just work on every single one of these, so that's what class time is like. Busy, busy, busy. It's one of the busiest, busiest busy times bees. of the year. Speaking of that, buy our honey. Yeah. <laughs>